Good evening and welcome back to We're Not Really Here. Joining me in the studio is Michael Brown and Paul Dickoff. 1-0 uh, to Arsenal is the score. Not something we're used to seeing uh, since the restart. Paul, what did you make of that first half? Yeah, it's normal City dominated, you know, but I think we, we did speak before the game about um, the threat of Aubameyang, Lacazette and Pepe um, and th their pace in behind, you know, and we had a little warning signs with... Obama Yang's chance, um, which he shot straight at Ederson, then a couple of minutes later. You know, d disappointing from, from City's point of view defensively. You know, if Benjamin Mendy's got to stop the cross, and then Kyle's got to maybe open his, bo his body out a little bit more to um, see where Obama Yang is and stop him getting in there. But um, as always, I'm always confident anyway. Um, you know, the players we've got going into the second half, but I think just need to up the tempo a, a little bit more in their passing going forward. Uh, Michael, well, what about yourself? I mean, it does seem that defensively we've just been a little bit frail and, it, you know, that was the goal that they scored, but they got in a couple of times after that as well. Yes, they did. Obviously, there was a header from Mustafi, which was a good save from Edison. It was that earlier opportunity through the through the middle with Aubameyang, you would have expected to do better. Good save from Edison yet again. So it's those opportunities Manchester City have, have got to stop letting the opposition get probably too many on on a few occasions this season and it's about learning from these um, from these faults almost but you know regards to controlling possession Manchester City have been good again good to the eye what I would say is becomes you'd expect a little bit more of of opportunity created shots on target only one shot on target in the first half and that that's difficult to take so yes you can understand uh, Arsenal they've got a good shape it's hard to sort of break through as you said pace and power is going to get through that but you know just going on to the goal it was a it was a fantastic goal from Arsenal's point of view and you sort of say yes there could be a, a, a something better on a cross there could be something better on the back post uh, defending but there's I think there was 18 passes 10 of Arsenal players and we talked about Arteta to touching the ball as a, as, as a good goal. So sometimes you've got to sort of say, hold your hands up, it's been a special goal against you. Arsenal are making it difficult as well, though. You know, we, we said at the start well, whether it was going to be three or the back at five, you know, it was five a majority of the time. Um, and then Pepe and um, Obama Yang are dropping back in to make it a four. And, you know, they're defending 5 4 1 in the middle of their half sometimes. Um, you know, and I think City have just got to make sure that they move the ball a little bit quicker, but also as well as. Um, as well as having Gabby up there, maybe try and get some some more runners into the box to, to give them a bit of a hand. With with the build up towards the Arsenal goal, there was a chance there for for Sterling, and it's it's something that we've touched upon because it goes without saying. You know, he has been brilliant this season, but just decision making sometimes in the final third. I mean, he, he'd won the ball back, done well, but then didn't do one thing or the other with it, and that just seems to be something that. We see a lot with City is that we, we dominate, we have that chance, and then before you know it, the ball is up the other end and, and in the back of the net. It's tough to take. Well, it is tough to take, and this is Manchester City who expect to score goals, expect to win. We're all probably a, a little bit overcritical, but we still believe, as Paul said, in the positive. Pep Guardiola, half time, will get them in and say, Right, where do we need to be? Can we go a little bit higher in wider areas? Can we get in between the sort of the right sided centre back and the right mm -hmm. wing back and, and on the other side? I think those areas you can thread the passes a little bit quicker, a little bit higher. A midfield runner also. Can someone get past? Can someone just create space a little bit quicker? We understand that as you know, with with Pep, he likes that patient sort of build up play yeah. all the time, but it needs to be a little bit quicker to get through. I think this if the start of the house. second half is, is very similar, I think we'll see Phil Foden um, quite quickly, you know, because he will, Brownie's talking about the third man running, he will get in the box as a midfielder and he will look to stretch teams from midfield. So it's just not Gabby, it's just not Rehad, um, and it's just not um, Sterling, you know, there's that other little bit of a threat to get in the box and, and get in the end of things. And, and speaking of the build up, and, I, and I'm, tell me I might, might be seeing this wrong, but I feel like, I know we've got Gundogan, De Bruyne, and David in that middle three, but watching the game, it feels like we are missing more the Fernandinho or, or Rodri role of, of sitting that further back because the ball was given away for an Arsenal chance there where Rodri or Fernandinho usually receive the ball and that's so crucial to our build-up play Paul it feels like we might be missing just that little bit of composure to work his way up the pitch a little bit more yeah a little bit but I do think Gundogan does do that very well yeah um, you know and it, it does it it, it it makes me laugh um, because of where the club is now sometimes that we do tend to get over critical if we're not scoring yeah. three or four goals in the first half um, and but that's a crazy thing to say so I think going into the second half now, you know, I'm, I'm confident, you know, um, the first half um, dominated it, as we always do, and 
Arsenal defended very well, but it's so difficult to defend like that for 90 minutes, especially when you're when, when you're chasing a team around that, that wants to keep the ball as Man City do, and they're always asking questions for you. So as the second half goes on, I'm sure there'll be more chances for Manchester City without a doubt. I, I think you're right, and I think the danger is it's that balance of when to do it, when to sort of go right up the pitch, because as you said, the the, the, the attacking threat and pace up against you, they can score goals. We mentioned Obama Yang, what he can do, what he can deliver. So. Just be patient, but a little bit quicker, higher up. Doesn't mean everybody's got to go up the pitch and commit early into the second half. But you know, it's just that little bit of pace, a little bit of tempo, a bit of quality. Someone try and beat somebody, push them back into areas rather than possibly always coming back and rotating the ball across the pitch. And it's, it's allowing a back five is really difficult to play against. Yeah. It's so hard. Once they've got a lift as well. You know, the setup will be there. They're all, they're all really high. They're all desire. We're winning. We can't believe it. They'd be delighted to get in there, go and settle down. So now Manchester City have got to find an angle, got to find a way. And I have that belief, as Paul said, there's some great attacking players, some good options on the bench to try and change this game. It's just that little bit of gold dust sometimes, isn't it, as well? Yeah. And um, that little bit of magic. When you look at the players that we've got out there on the pitch, I spoke about David Silva loads before the game, De Bruyne, and then obviously with, with Mares, with Jesus. Um, and with Sterling, they can turn the game in its head with one bit of magic at any time. And um, but yeah, look, we'll be all right second half. We'll be all right. Well, I'm sure we will. And as we say, we've still got 45 minutes to turn things around. We have got Kyle Walker and Sean Wright Phillips down at Wembley. Here is what they think at half time. Cheers, Kel. Yes, it is all done here at half time. Sean, Manchester City trailing 1 0. The first 10 minutes, though, they did seem to dominate. They created uh, lots of uh, chances. They had lots of possession as well, but it just hasn't gone their way that first half. Um, yeah, totally agree. And I think Arsenal's just got more comfortable and just playing on the break, basically, and playing in behind us. Now, we've still got 45 minutes to go. We know what Manchester City possess on the bench. We know the attacking force that they have. Do you think we'll see some changes? Would you bring somebody on now, switch it up a little bit? Um... I personally wouldn't just as yet. I think if the guys keep plugging away, they have to be a bit patient because, as I said, they're, they're shutting up shop at the back and they're doing pretty decent at it. Now, if there's one team that can come back, score lots of goals, it is Manchester City. But it just seems like Arsenal have not got their number, but they seem to understand and know what City are trying to do. And they're trying to shut them out a little bit. We've got the players like David Silva, we've got Kevin De Bruyne. We know they can turn it on, but we've not quite seen that magic just yet. Um, yeah, we haven't. They're, they're finding it hard to um, find the, the spaces that they normally get. But I think once they find that space as the game goes on, you, we will all see the magic they possess. Well, hopefully we will see that. 45 minutes left to go here at Wembley. Semi-final, Manchester City take on Arsenal. They are trailing 1-0, but we'll see what happens come full-time. We'll see you then, Kel. But for now, back to you guys at the studio. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kyle. Um, just wanted to pick up on, a, on a, a comment that was there that kind of seeming that Arsenal seemed to have City's number slightly. We didn't really see it in that first game back against Arsenal. Do you think we are seeing, Michael, that Arteta, Arteta's knowledge of City is maybe shining through a little bit on the pitch or am I just overthinking that? I think we can overthink it. Okay. They're, they're playing with more confidence, this Arsenal side, as we discussed in the build-up. They've created a couple of opportunities early. They've got the goal. Once you get that goal, there's a huge lift. That apprehension that you have just sort of seems to go away. And there's something to fight for, something to be positive towards. And now everybody's back behind the ball. And as I've just said, now just be patient. But can Kevin De Bruyne go a little bit higher? Can he start on that right-hand side? You know, he delivers those balls in key yeah. areas. But obviously the way they're set up, it's the full-backs and Kyle Walker's going right up. So is Mendy. So there's not that much space. And, and, and again, you've got to find an option, but possibly wider and higher up the pitch would be better. I think it's, it is overthinking it a little bit as well because, mm. um, you know, up until Arsenal scored, um, they couldn't get anywhere near us. You know, yeah. we were dominating possession. It looked as if it was only a matter of time. That goal's now gave them something to cling on. As much as early as it was in the second half, it's gave them something to cling on to um, and, and gave them that boost um, and the confidence, as, as Michael said there. So um, I expect, look, the second half's going to be the same. Arsenal are just going to retreat into it and it's up to us to, to, to go and break them down. But we did say 3-1, didn't we? Fingers crossed. We said three one. Hey, the did. goal's there. Yeah. It's set up. So we'd we look good, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> we do look good. And hopefully, come the end of full time, we'll be celebrating that three one victory. Forty five minutes left to play in this semi final. It is currently one nil. Hopefully, we can turn things around. Come join us at full time, and we'll be getting into the full game and much more. <laughs> 